Hey, I'm a little sick, so excuse the voice. I'll cut out or reduce the volume of any coughing. Uh, I refuse to be silenced. So onward. Apple has been threatening to kick Twitter off of the App Store, which was revealed in a tweet recently by current CEO Elon Musk. Uh, Elon saying they won't tell us why they're being threatened. Now, Twitter has made three major changes in recent weeks since Elon Musk took over. They've deleted a bunch of bot accounts, they've cracked down on child pornography and videos showing exploited human trafficking victims, and third, they've allowed more free speech, including eliminating the medical misinformation reason for being banned. So that was a reason a lot of people got banned under the COVID years for speaking the truth. Well, Twitter had a massive um, child pornography problem, and during that time they were never under any threat. There was never Apple saying, you're going to get kicked out of the app stores. Similarly, Google didn't threaten them either. It was just never a risk because they were a big protected company. But it's now, now that they are, using app stores as a censorship medium is not as new as a lot of people think it is. It's one of the things that happened to Parler, what forced it to engage in various types of different moderation. It also affected Rumble and resulted in them changing their um, terms of use. Minds has two apps to try and overcome this problem. They have one for the app store in which a bunch of the posts that are interesting are censored and one that you can download direct from them. Telegram does exactly the same thing. You can get one from the app stores or one direct. This is one of the ways that Gab was censored uh, in the early days. Since then they switched to a web app which doesn't require downloading from the app stores at all and therefore keeps them fully independent. It's a really smart way to go. At least on Android phones, you can download apps from elsewhere if you wish. You will get a notice that says something to the effect of, this is from an untrusted or unknown source, are you sure you want to install it on your phone? But you can hit yes and do what the heck you want with your device. On Apple phones, they want to be the absolute gatekeeper and they don't allow you to go around them. Despite the fact that think different is the slogan that they use, they don't want you to think differently from them. Like I recently I had to get a new phone myself due to just being out of space and my old phone, which was one of the Pixel owned by Google, didn't have a, um, a, a an SD slot to allow you to upgrade your storage. And the major companies, including and especially Apple, are putting out phones that no longer have these uh, micro SD slots in order that you can, you know, back up to the cloud, that is, to them. And by backing up to them, they control your storage. Because this was used to, it used to be about having, you know, a backup source uh, in case you were to lose your phone or in case something were to get destroyed or what have you. That was that was one thing. Now they don't really want to be the backup. They want to be the primary source of all of your data. I don't think it's just about the monthly fee. I don't think that's the primary reason that they're interested in this. I think it's much more about control, and that's demonstrated with a lot of these different uh, policies. Big tech really wants to control people and control their data and control what they think. And that's demonstrated in part by these app store policies and the way that they want to come after any sort of um, company that is willing to engage in free speech and free expression to any degree. I don't think Twitter is entirely free right now. I don't think it ever will be. But in any case, they're already under some degree of threat. So yeah, it, if you... Gosh, if you're going to get a phone, certainly avoid Apple. I do think you should get a phone with storage slots and control your own data. And also, I mean, do whatever you can to be as independent as you can. When you have a company that provides direct download to various apps like Telegram does, like Minds do, I, I would certainly urge you to use them. Uh, you know, Gab is, is much easier because you can just kind of go direct to their website and then you can simply add the web app and it you know, avoids all the different app stores altogether. This is a better way to go. People don't really think too much about how much data now is, is being sort of like handed off or how much control is being handed off to these other companies. But they have a, a massive impact on our lives. And we've seen the different social experiments that have been ran by companies like Facebook to try and see how much impact they can have on elections. This, this kind of thing, it has real world consequences and I think we should be paying more attention to it than a lot of people are.
Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video so that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these marks?